It was a military operation. It was directed for military purposes, for the military sites. So hundreds of civilians were killed. Sorry. And for the military soldiers who imposed sanctions and collected punishment against our people. And I think from the first moment we declared that this operation is not was not directed to the civilians. But I can confirm and assure again and again that there was no command, no command to kill any civilians. Think How do you justify killing people as they sleep, you know, families? How do you justify I, I want, I, I want to stop this uh, interview. In, I want to stop this interview. Hamas spokesperson Ghazi Hamad talking to our correspondent there. Well, joining me is Ayelet Shaked, a former interior and justice minister in the Israeli government who joined us live from Tel Aviv. Welcome to you. I'm not sure if you heard any of that interview with our BBC correspondent just had with a Hamas spokesperson in Beirut, denying that any civilians were targeted in their assault in Israel nearly three weeks ago. What's your response to that? I heard and I almost physically vomit, actually. You know that those monsters, they had cameras on their helmets of the monsters, and we have videos of all the atrocities that they did. Everything is recorded. Some of your correspondents stole the videos. And I'll just give you an example. They enter a home of a happy family, a father, a mother, two little babies, kids. They handcuffed the mother, the father, and the kids. They tortured the mother and the father in front of the kids. They took out their eyes and did horrible things, and then they murdered the whole family. They decapitated children. In one house, they murdered a pregnant woman. They slit open her belly, and they stabbed the baby. They are monsters. They are worse than ISIS, and they should be eliminated.